everyone. Welcome to our National Tell Us Fairy Tale program here at the James Kennedy Public Library. We had advertised telling the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Unfortunately, my flannel board for that disappeared. It's the cost of clearing off your desk. You put things where you think will be easy to find and then they're gone forever. So we're switching gears. We're going to be doing the Frog Prince and we will have a craft to go along with that. I'll talk about that right now because I'm going to shift the camera and I don't wanna to have to try to alter it again. Um, you'll be getting a uh, frog mask puppet. It will have a little elastic band to go around. The children will have the eyes cut out and the child can cut it and, or you can help the child cut it and make it into a mask and they can be the frog prince. Um, I don't have a princess mask, but I think if a little girl wants to be a princess, she probably has all of the supplies necessary for that. But the frog prince mask is necessary. So that will be available for uh, curbside pickup or if you're in the library, you can pick that up. So we will be doing a flannel board story of the frog prince and we are doing it with permission of, I, it's Rising Moon Adventures. I'm sorry, I have my little thing here. Here we go, I'll try that again. Um, Rising Moon Adventures off of Etsy and the uh, artist of the the flannel board very graciously has allowed us to record and broadcast not broadcast but to put it on Facebook and our YouTube channel so that people can enjoy them. So Rising Moon Adventures off Etsy. If you do any homeschooling or like to your children like to play flannel boards, she has some really nice things. We will be starting our fairy tale, The Frog Prince. So I'm going to shift my camera. Please be patient. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. One day, she was taking a walk through a clearing just outside the castle grounds. As she walked, she played with her favorite toy, a small golden ball. She was tossing it into the air and catching it as she passed a stone well. And the stone well fell. <laughs> That's the danger of flannel boards. Okay, there's the stone well. All right. She was tossing it high into the air, and as it came down, it missed her hand and bounced off the stone wall of the well and into the water, splash, far below. The princess began to cry. She cried louder and louder, and soon she was wailing. Suddenly, she heard a small croaking voice say, What is wrong, beautiful princess? Why do you cry your heart like your heart will break? She wiped the tears from her eyes to see a small, ugly frog sitting at the edge of the well. Now we're going to move over here. Sitting at the edge of the well. I've dropped my lovely golden ball down the well, and I have no way to get it back, she wept. The frog responded, if I fetch your ball for you, what will you give me? The princess offered, oh, little frog, if you bring me back my ball, I will give you all my beautiful clothes, my priceless gems, and even the crown on my head. The frog answered, I do not want any of those things. But if you promise to be my sweetheart, let me live in your castle, eat off your plate, and sleep on your pillow, I will get your ball for you. Now, the princess did not believe she would ever have to give the frog what he asked for, but she really wanted her favorite toy back. So she promised to give the frog everything he asked for. The frog happily dove into the well and cricked quickly brought the little golden ball back to the princess. As soon as she had her ball, the princess turned and ran back toward the castle. The frog cried after her, begging her to take him with her. But she ignored him and just ran faster. The poor little frog had no choice but to go back to his lonely home in the well. The next evening, as she ate her dinner, the princess heard a splish, splash, splish, splash, 
slash sound coming up the marble steps of the castle and then a small knocking sound on the front door of the castle. Then she heard a voice call out, Princess, oh princess, open the door for me. The princess opened the door to see the little green frog sitting at the step on the front step. She slammed the door and quickly went back to the dinner table. When her father, the king, when her father, the king, asked her who was at the door, she told him the whole story about the golden ball, the well, and her promise to the frog who had helped her. The king was upset at his daughter for not doing as she said she would. He made her go get the frog from the stairs and set him at the table to eat off her golden plate. When it was time for, the, for bed, the frog told the princess how tired he was and that he was ready to sleep on her pillow. The princess did not want to sleep in the same bed with a disgusting frog. But her father explained to her that when someone helps us when we are in need, we should not hate them later because of the way they look. The princess knew her father was right, so she carried the frog up to her bed. Just before the frog fell asleep, he reminded the princess of her last promise. Princess, you promised to be my sweetheart. Please give me my kiss goodnight. The princess definitely did not want to kiss the frog, but she remembered her father's words, and she remembered how happy she had been when the frog had brought her ball back to her. So feeling appreciation for his good deeds and compassion for this lonely little creature, she puckered up her lips and kissed the slimy little frog. No sooner had she kissed him than the room seemed to spin and bright lights began to flash. And suddenly standing before her was the most handsome prince with the most beautiful eyes that she had ever seen. The prince explained how he had been put under a spell by, by a wicked fairy. The spell could only be broken if a princess would be his sweetheart and give him a kiss with compassion in her heart. The princess was so glad that she'd listened to her father's words and kept her promises to the little frog prince. The prince and princess were married, the wedding bells, were married and lived happily ever after. The princess tried very hard to teach her children to be kind to all animals and to always keep their promises. The end.